Snapping is also supported when moving and rotating objects. For example, if I wanted to rotate this object 90 degrees exactly, I can select it and enter the Transform tool. When I click on the Rotate handle, I can position my mouse over the incremental ticks to snap to those increments. Here I can keep my mouse over the ring of ticks and increment the rotation by 5 degrees until I reach 90 degrees where I can let go. You can make the increment smaller or larger by pressing the up and down arrow keys. See, by pressing the arrow key a few times, the ticks update and now I'm snapping to 1 degree increments. Pressing the down arrow, I'm back to 5 degrees. This S and A on the perimeter of the Transform tool stand for Snap and Absolute. They are used when moving objects with the arrows. For example, clicking the S enables it and it turns green. Now when I move the object with one of the arrows, I get similar snapping increments. With the Absolute enabled, I see the movement increments in absolute values. And if I turn it off, the object moves in the same increments, but the value shown is relative to the starting point of the move. The L and W on the top of the perimeter of the Transform tool stand for Local and World, respectively. Inserting a new bunny and entering the Transform tool, you will see little difference when I click either L or W. The difference is noticeable when I start to move and rotate this guy around. Now, with Local enabled, I see the Transform directions relative to the object. But if I click to show the transform directions for W or world coordinates, I see the arrows update to align with the world coordinate system for my scene. This is useful, for example, if you need to move something perfectly vertical, but your object may be rotated. Again, to finalize the transform, I click Accept, or easier, press the A hotkey.